Hi guys, welcome to Japan here at Bars Fishtails. I'm in Shiogama, which is Northeast Japan. And I'm standing in front of Sushi Tetsu. It's one of the very best sushi places in Japan. And I had the opportunity to have dinner here last night. And I had maybe the most amazing Japanese dish I've ever tasted. And Mr. Taizo, Taizo-san, is here the chef. It's an amazing chef. And I've asked him, could you please show us how to make that dish? And he said, yes. So tonight we're going to show you how to make a monkfish liver and miso cream. And he's going to serve it with a monkfish jelly. Let's get in. So this is Mr. Taizo. So this is the chef right here. And he made me this amazing dish. And he has here the monkfish liver, and it's already mashed. It's really mashed. So it's, you can see it, it's a mashed monkfish liver. Nothing else than that. Okay, so that's number step number one. I haven't seen these guys before. I ate it in the restaurant, so for me it's the first time too. So he has this monkfish in a pan, in a pot. So he's doing this on, on the medium heat and he's going to melt it because he has pureed this, he has mashed this before, so now it's frozen. And actually this is one of his signature dishes. Um, the chef is already chef here for 48 years um, and it's one of the, his own inventions, his own, his own recipes. So actually the next step is really amazing. It's like a pestle and mortar, but a very big one. And um, the chef is using here miso. Well, he's to make it really fine. He's going to stir it and make it fine. Salty. So this is a local miso, and Mr. Tarso just stirred the miso using a pestle and mortar. So this is actually the base, the miso. So Mr. Tarso now adding the warm monkfish liver to the miso. Okay, so he now added the sake, like one third of uh, dry sake and two third of mirin, sweet sake. And he's warming it up right now. So it's a mixture of sweet and dry sake. Mirin and sake. And now it's added together with the monkfish liver and the miso again. So we have the fattiness of the monkfish and then we have the, the, the saltiness of the miso and the sweetness of the sake. Mustard, Japanese mustard, but feel free to use any mustard. Not too sweet, but it needs to have the acidity. So one teaspoon of mustard. And give it a stir. So now we add a bit of like spiciness to the sauce. So Mr. Taiso keeps on stirring, keeps on stirring because he wants to have it really fine. It should be a really smooth paste. Yeah, okay, so I think this is the final step. Adding a bit of sugar, some extra sweetness to it. Um, this is quite a, like a, I would call it a tablespoon. Um, and maybe another tablespoon. So, <laughs> so I would say this is maybe three, four tablespoons of ice sugar. Here we go, including the sugar. I think it's a bit too sweet now. Yes. Rice vinegar. So this is around three tablespoons of rice vinegar. We're going to give it a bit of extra acidity. Yeah, so it was quite sweet. Um, sweet of the sugar, sweet of the sake. Now we add the acidity. Just like this nice fresh kick and we'll balance the cream. Actually, this is the stage of the master. 
and the master is fine tuning its sauce, its cream. So it's tasting, it's tasting, it's like maybe ma making music, you adapt all the time if you make a new composition. He is composing his cream, little by little, a little extra sweetness, a little extra acidity. Uh, the touch of the real master of the sushi chef, Mr. Taizo. So he's using this train right here to make the cream really, really fine. So that's the latest step, the last step uh, before surfing. Mm, smooth, silky, creamy, bit of a kick of the mustard, the acidity, um, the wine, the sake. This is so delicious. It's so delicious. Sure. <laughs> Clean my hands. So this is a monkfish jelly, so actually it's the skin, it's the gelatin coming out of the bones of the fish okay. and the fish okay. itself. It's 100% monkfish. So that's the base of the recipe. And then on top of the cream, the chef is using some white of the leek. And, uh, and it gives a crunchy bite to the dish. So some zest of yuzu. And then he finished it up with a sancho leaf. Look at this, guys, it's amazing. This? Oh, that's the yuzu. yuzu. This yuzu. is the yuzu. So this is the zest of this beautiful citrus, Japanese citrus. Arigato. Finish. Finish. So guys, now it's time for a taste using okay. chopsticks um, and the taste with the master. Mr. Taizo. It runs through your mouth. It's, it's amazing. The, this texture is amazing, especially with the creaminess of this miso cream. So we have the miso together with the rice vinegar. Um, together, of course, with the liver, the monkfish liver. Um, we have the sake in it. Well, with all these beautiful flavors combined fantastically with this jelly. But I assume you can use this uh, cream with many other dishes, with raw fish. It's really amazing. Um, arigato, uh, Mr. Taizo. Thank you for watching guys. Um, if you have any comments, any questions, please leave it in the box down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you soon on another Fishy Friday. Bye bye. Thank you.